Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create low polygonal art in Photoshop. First of all, import the image you want to change into low poly art. Then right click on the background layer and duplicate the layer. Choose the object selection tool or any of the selection tool to remove the background of the subject. Draw around the subject and then click on vector mask. Now Create a solid background layer below the subject layer. Right click on the vector mask and choose apply layer mask. Now we will start by making the polygons. But before that go to photoshop, settings, guides, grids and slices. Here change the following settings and hit ok. Then go to view, show and grids. As you can see the grids will appear on the canvas. Now let's start by making the polygon. With the background layer selected, choose the polygonal lasso tool from the toolbar and start creating the shape. Once the shape is created, go to filter, blur and then average. This will sample out the average color of the selected area. We have to repeat the process all along. But as it is quite time taking, we will create an action for it. For that, draw another polygon. Then go to Windows Actions. Click on this three line icon and select New Set. Name it to Low Poly. Hit OK. Then again click here and then choose New Action. Name the action. Then change the function key to F1. If it is already assigned, you can choose another key. Click on Record. Hit OK. Now follow the steps to create the poly. With the selected shape, go to filter, blur and average. Then press ctrl or command D to deselect. Then click on this stop icon. By doing this, you have recorded the particular action of filling in the color in the particular poly. Now create another shape. This time instead of repeating the steps, click on the function key F1 and it will automatically do its job. In this way, keep on creating the polygons. Make polygons in such a way that each part is visible at its best.
When it's done, go to View, Show and untick the Grid option. Now, change the background color according to your image. Also, don't forget to fill the extra areas which are left by chance. And remove the areas which you don't want by creating a vector mask. If you find this video helpful, do like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.